Hello, today I'll be demonstrating a science fair project with using simple household items to clean a dirty corroded penny and with a solution and outcome hopefully turn out to be a shining penny as shown. We all love money. How come it has to be so dirty? Old age or abuse, you might add. How can we restore old and dirty money? Do we need to go out and buy expensive chemical kits to clean our precious metals? Or can't we just use simple household items that will not harm our breathing space and environment? From internet research, I googled a product called Tarnix. Tarnix contains several <clears throat> harsh chemicals. So, I researched and came up with a similar and more greener solution to solve the, this dilemma. I want to attempt to use salt as an abrasive scrubbing solution and vinegar as a cleaning chemical. My hypothesis. My theory for this, for this experiment is using simple household items that are a lot less costly and will and that are a lot less costly as well as being a much more greener solution towards the environment and it should have the same performance and outcome as the store-bought chemical. Performance and outcome. Here's what I will need to conduct the experiment. One drinking glass. Uh, white distilled vinegar uh, iodized table salt Let's see tweezers place that down here and a corroded dirty penny As you can see, here's what a corroded penny looks like. Here's what a, a clean and shining penny looks like. See? Corroded one is on the right, clean one's on the left. Okay, corroded. To begin the experiment, I must first take my drinking glass, add two parts vinegar, Next, I will need to add iodized table salt. Okay, next, I will use the tweezers to submerge my dirty penny into the solution. I will wait 30 seconds for the chemical reaction to take place. I will then stir the penny around the glass gently to use the salt as an abrasive to clean the dirty penny. So here we have the dirty penny and my tweezers. Or clamps, whatever you want to call it. Just a little bit more vinegar here. Oh, that's good. Some more salt. Okay, let's get that in. 
dried it up a little bit. And in the outcome, we have a much clearer, well, let me get a sticky note to show you, due to my lighting, a much cleaner and shinier penny. Here's what the old dirty penny looks like when it's dirty. Here, get a clear shot of that. No shine whatsoever. And here's what a clean and shiny penny looks like. See? One more time. A clear, shiny penny right here on the left. See? And the dirty penny. Analyze the data. From what I've examined, the solution has cleaned the filthy penny and made it shining new. My, conclusion, my conclusions were I would have a dirty penny or a clean penny exiting the solution. As a result, we have a shining and clean looking penny. The experiment was a success. End.